type 6 of the <coughs> Enneagram. They are known as the loyal skeptic. Loyal skeptics believe we live in a hazardous world and that we just can't trust anybody. We must gain the trust and security of people and only then life can move on. Consequently, loyal skeptics are instinctive, inquisitive but trustworthy and good friends. They are problem solvers but can be doubtful, accusatory and a bit fearful. It may be noted that many people among all of us would have this as a secondary characteristics. Some of it, some of us may have it as a primary characteristic, but many of us have it as a secondary characteristics. Now, if you look at the focus of attention of type six, the loyal skeptic, they're always looking out for what could go wrong. That, that's the main worry. The worst case scenarios and how to deal with such scenarios. So this is their main concern. Now if you look at lesson for the type 6 of the Enneagram people is to reclaim trust in yourself, others and the world and the community we live in in spite of its uncertainty. What does type 6, the loyal skeptic, tell us about themselves? First. I am preoccupied with safety and security concerns. I greet everything with a doubting mind and contrary thinking. My vigilance, active imagination and intuition helps me to anticipate and avoid problems. I question authority and people and try to gain their trust. I procrastinate because I fear making the wrong decision. Now, how do you relate to type 6, the royal skeptic? Be consistent and trustworthy. You lose trust and it's curtains to the relationship. Disclose your own personal feelings and thoughts to them. Appreciate the attention to problems. Agree on rules and procedures. Do not try to break. <clears throat> Join them in acknowledging what can go wrong before moving ahead. Put your cards on the table as much as possible. Don't be ambiguous, be very clear with them. The type six loyal skeptic, what do they have to reflect? What principles do they have to reflect upon? Insecurity is a part and parcel of life. That they have to understand. Flight, flight and freezing are all reactions to fear. Courage is not the absence of fear. It's moving ahead in spite of it. When we relax our vigilance and stay in the present moment, we notice that everything is okay. When we cultivate trust rather than seeking certainty, we begin to trust in the process of life. While skeptics under different health levels, at healthy levels, loyalists the caring, generous and thoughtful team players who move colleagues and friends forward in a positive direction. They are valuable and hardworking employees who take great pride in serving an organization and will make every effort to hone their skills. During times of stress, they know how to handle and diffuse the nerves with finesse. They develop secure attachment styles and trust others through their patience and courage. Loyalists can learn to accept their independence and express themselves freely. At the best, loyalists are able to let go of their worries and focus on matters they can change in the present moment. Type 6 The Loyalists at Average Health Levels Loyalists are mentally acute, yet highly skeptical and seek security and group approval for their actions. They become aware of their shortcomings and their self-esteem may fluctuate at times. When there's a disconnect between the position and the group, loyalists become noticeably agitated and nervous. To prevent disappointment, loyalists may mentally prepare themselves 
for the worst case scenario before carrying out a task they tend to over analyze messages or information which further fuels their anxiety and leads to mixed signals this confuses others so the whole thing winds up being a vicious circle of worry type 6 at unhealthy levels type 6 the loyalists become extremely paranoid and suspicious of everything and everyone in their path they are prone to developing anxiety due to the hyper vigilance to any impending real or imagined sources of harm as a result false memories may form and they may start to suspect others trying to fool them when they have become masters at fooling themselves when events go out of the frying pan and into the fire loyalists can develop overwhelming and devastating anxiety from the illusion of constant danger this causes them to psychologically latch and cling on to a protective figure in their lives in order to get through each day this is also known as codependency when frustrated and fed up loyalists will project their insecurities onto others and claim they have done something when in reality it is all brewed up and imagined from the beginning so under ill health type 6 are paranoid and suspicious of everyone and everything subscribe our youtube channel r4 consulting your consulting partner visit our website www.r4consultingindia.com